Hello guys, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and work with hashtags. Now, when we click on a particular hashtag, for example, let's say um, we are clicking on Halloween or October or scary, then we're going to get like another page that's going to list out all the posts that has any, any of this hashtag. So hopefully you understand what we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and get started. Now in um, views.py, we're going to create um, a tag function is gonna you're gonna call it tags then we're gonna pass in requests then create tag on the on this cost log now i told you guys about post underscore id in the last video what it does and how it's useful so in this one now what what tag on the cost log does is this now when we come over to one of these tags let's say october let's see if my server is still running no it's not let me make sure that i'm actually passing something in there then this should work right now. Okay, so as you can see, this is the slug for this tag. Now this slug over here is gonna identify that each and every one of the posts that has this October is related to the slug. And that's how we're gonna list out all of them. So what we need to do now is pass in slug in there um, alongside requests. Then after that, we just need to go ahead and um, call a tax function that's gonna get all, sorry, um, we need to write a one line of code that's gonna get all the tags Hopefully you understand, but maybe when we start doing it, you're going to understand more better. So we're going to pass in tag in a get object of 404 and we need to pass in slug equal to tag underscore slug, tag underscore slug. So this tag underscore slug, let's see if, if that's what we call it in our model or, okay, yeah, that's it, tag then slug. So now I'll have tag underscore slug over here. Okay, so after this, the next thing we're going to do is simply go ahead and call posts then we want to get all the posts that's related to that tag so in order to do that we're going to say post dot object dot filter and now we want to filter post dot object dot filter by tag so tag is going to be equal to tag now when i started off with django i didn't actually understand what all this stuff does over here now this is what it does you see this tag over here firstly let me get rid of this one now we want to filter post by tag Okay, if we hop over to the model and come over to um, post, now you will see that this post has a line that's called tag. So that's this one over here. Now let's say let's say we want to feature the tag by this one that we created over here. Then we're gonna pass in this variable that we passed in in here. So that's why we say tag. So had it been this is called um, view tag. That means over here we're gonna have view tag. You guessed it right. And had it been in the model, this is called um, model tag then over here we're gonna have filter by model underscore tag is equal to v underscore tag this is still gonna work perfectly fine so hopefully you understand what's going on but i just want to stick with, with what i've got before but i hope with this example you'd understand if you don't understand i must still explain um to you in the comment section if you can drop a comment there now we want to order it by um minus posted okay so you all know what this does already the latest post is going to be at the top like the latest post that's on the tag is going to be at the top so with this now we also need to um, pass in context then a template so i'm simply going to copy this and put it in there like that now this is going to be post post now this one should be tags.html context context here so hopefully you understand what's happened we passed in tag we got the tag using get object or 404 or you could also do something like you could also do something like um tag dot object dot get then you can pass in slug is equal to tag underscore slug hopefully you understand they are they will all do the same thing okay so with this now we now went ahead and filtered the post by this particular tag that we're getting over here okay so after this now let's just go ahead and create a url for it so we need to hop over to our url dot py this is it over here now um we can still use this one yeah so we're gonna say posts slash or uh, let's just say tag yeah let's just say tag so we're gonna say tag slash slug is gonna go over to if you can guess tag underscore slug that's it now over here you remember we called it tag let me come over here we called it tags here okay so tag and this should also be tag or let's just say tags but i want to see what we call it in the models so in the models as you can see we commented this out but it's called tags so let's just stick with it tags okay so with this now um let's try hopping over to the to one particular 
tag slug so i'm just gonna copy this make sure this is still working no 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 it's not working now let's see what's wrong okay we need to add a comma over here okay then this should be working not yet let's see what's wrong um it said module post views has no attributes tag okay so in the views we are importing tag and okay let's hop over to url this needs to be tags okay hopefully you understand because in our views.py it's tags you can see it's tags over here that's why we pass in that one as tags okay so right now when we come over here and refresh this is going to work perfectly well now all i just need to do is copy one of this then i'm going to come over here and say post slash slash tag slash that tag that we copied let's make sure it is here so now we hit enter it's working but we don't have a template yet so we need to come over here to the template and we need to create a new file and we're going to call, call it tag dots or let's say tags dot html just like that now when we refresh it's working okay so what we simply need to do is come over here and firstly let's just say we want to call a tag title so we're going to say tag dot title um let's see nothing is showing up let's put it in a h1 tag hmm okay yeah for now this isn't supposed to show up yet okay don't worry let's go ahead and fix this then or oh, let's see in the views in the view we haven't configured it yet this should be tag this should be tag yeah that's why it wasn't showing up then now as you can see we got october okay so let's try getting another tag um that let's let's get the halloween tag copy this come over here and we're gonna paste this it automatically detects that that's the halloween okay so what we need to do is go ahead and fix the the template the tags the html template and in order to do that um i'm gonna use a very very simple trick you remember i told you guys that we already have the templates built out so i'm just gonna use the profile template over here i'm just gonna copy it come over here and i'll paste it down there just like that now when we refresh this it looks so ugly but what we need to do is help over to post detail we're going to grab this at the top and we need to put it at at the top of our page like this and we also need to come down here and end block contents just like this this isn't going to look any better still now what we need to do is come over here and configure the styling so we already have it in our static from the previous videos now we have this over here we also um, have this okay yeah that's what we want but we're gonna get rid of all these other things at the top but before that um, let me just try loading up some of the images let's see let's see let me load up the first three static that login um, okay yeah this three images that's what we need firstly now i'm gonna get rid of every other thing at the top so uh, i'm gonna get rid of the the header from here to here i'm gonna get rid of it that's that's not what i wanted i'm gonna get rid of okay let's just say um, i want i want to stick with the name let's say i want to stick with the name but i'm gonna get rid of this div over here yeah and i'm gonna get rid of the edit buttons like that and I'm gonna get rid of this this ones over here too okay now we have the name just the name mm, we can just come over here and let's say we want to break it let's see I don't know if this is gonna work oh yeah it's working so this is not the right way to do this but yeah I'm just doing it that way okay so we need to go ahead and style this now over here we're just gonna add in a style tag like that then we need to add the text align text align should go to center and this is what we have now okay that's not looking good we also let's let's get rid of this profile okay this is how it's looking so this class i'm just gonna get rid of this class it does nothing then i'm simply gonna add a margin top here so let's just add a margin top let's say 100 px okay that's it um, maybe it's maybe it's much yeah 
and we also need to add in a margin bottom let's still say let's say 20 px okay yeah that's that's okay now what we what we need to do over here is simply call tag dot title just like this as you can see we've got halloween we also still need to add in a hashtag over there as you can see we've got halloween and yeah that's that should be it okay so the next thing we need to do is work with the the, the posts so that the posts show up according to the tag now in order to do that what we need to do is um we simply need to get rid of all these divs that contains all these posts so this is one div for one post this is another div this is another div this is another div um, i'm just gonna minimize all the div then i'm gonna start removing them okay then this is another one this should be another one oh my god there's a lot of divs over here this should be another one this is another one come on okay so we need to get rid of all these divs and just stick with one okay get up boy get rid of all this stick with one okay so is this what i'm supposed to do no that's not what i'm supposed to do okay um this is a div okay let's say i want to stick with two for the meantime let's say i want to stick with two okay yeah that's it so um i open this up and i get rid of this div now it's one big div okay so i copy this again and i paste it i just want to see okay yeah, it's it's working perfectly fine okay so what we need to do now is loop through all the posts that's in the tag, then display it in here. So how to do that? It's quite easy. What we need to do is just, um, we need to come over to this div. You see this div over here, that's an article div. Let me just put it. First post, or let's just say um, post card here. Then over here, let's just add an end post card. Okay. So with this now, how do we go ahead looping through the the post that we've got? It's quite easy. So we're gonna say for post in for post in posts just like this. I want it to come over here and end for just like that too. And when we refresh this, oh yeah, error. Now we need to end for not m4 just like that and i think we've got a spinner for ourselves let's go ahead and get rid of the the loader this is it over there i'm just gonna comment it out okay so so what we need to do now is go ahead and um over here let's add a link for the image um yeah a link just like this okay now this link is gonna go to somewhere and it's gonna go to post dot get underscore absolute underscore url you all know that already then we need to end this off over here just like that now for the image source we need to say um post dot post dot picture dot url Okay, there is still yet another error. Post the get absolute URL expected and empty or n4. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. It's supposed to be in a, a variable like this. Okay. And also, I think this too. Yeah. So, what actually am I doing today? I'm going to get rid of this and get rid of this. Okay. But right now, I don't know. The post ain't showing up. Let's see, what do we need to do to make the post show up? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Halloween posts, the post isn't showing up yet. Okay, this is image, this is source post dot picture dot URL. Hmm. No, that should be it or I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we'll call it. This is a post.picture.url. I'm just gonna copy this source. Okay guys, I think I know what's wrong. So um, we need to pass in post in here too. So we need to pass in post in the in the func in the views, in the tax function. We need to pass in post. Post detail isn't found. What actually is that happening? Let's see. Okay, let's hop over to the URL and add an S over here. 
now in the index.html in the in the index.html we need to look for post dash detail then we need to add an s over here now this should work now okay yeah that's it now what we need to do is um come over here and let's pick out another hashtag let's say okay let's say we want to give like two posts the same hashtag let's say we want to give the t-shirts um another hashtag halloween let's give it a halloween and this hashtag save this and now let's try let's try refreshing the halloween hashtag okay as you can see now it has two posts in the halloween hashtag so how about we try giving another post like the cool lake the halloween hashtag too you will see it will still show up here okay now we have three posts that has the halloween hashtag so when we come over to a hashtag now we will get all the posts related to the hashtag let's head over to october's hashtag now we're gonna see just halloween yeah that's it okay this is halloween over here now what we need to do um is just go ahead and work with the uh, index.html so that when we click on this hashtag it takes us to the page where we see the hashtag so in order to do that we need to come over here and look for tag now for tag and tag let me get rid of the word drop so i have to actually see what i'm doing okay so um i said we are supposed to configure the index page so that when we hit on any of this hashtag it's going to take us to another page where we're going to see the hashtag but before we do that let's head over to the models and you remember when we're creating this we actually turn this off so we need to simply come over here and on on comment it and right now let's refresh it's working fine so this isn't okay now when we click on halloween what do you notice it now takes us to halloween just like instagram now you know on instagram if you click on a hashtag it takes you to another page where you're gonna see all the posts that has that same hashtag so that's what we just did now now i'll we'll click on shirts takes us to this page that has just this shirt hashtag and okay let's actually try adding a, creating a new post and adding some some other hashtags so i'm gonna come over to um that place much as this halloween and i'm gonna add um beautiful pumpkin beautiful pumpkin and i want to add a uh, halloween hashtag again halloween i'm gonna add october october i'm gonna add pumpkin yeah and i'm gonna post it okay so right now as you can see we've got the halloween thing now when we click on this halloween what do you notice now we have four posts that has this hashtag so yeah that's pretty much it i think we actually did um this feature nice in this course now what we need to do is also make this work over here oh yeah it's working it's working in the detail page it's working so what you need to do is um simply configure this over here for the for the the tag the html for the index make sure you add in this this one over here that says tag dot absolute url so that you can get each of this okay let's say i'm getting rid of this now now i'll click on this it's not gonna work see uh, okay this is the index now over here now when i click on this it's not gonna work you see it's not it's not working that's because this isn't working that's because this is not correct it's absolute se right it's supposed to be absolute just like that so it's gonna work now okay guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and learned how to work with hashtags in django you create a view make sure you're linking into the model and also work with the templates it's quite easy and if you don't still understand anything or let's say you are getting confused in a way concerning this section of this tutorial then feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you answer your questions do not forget to drop a like also consider subscribing and i hope i'll see you guys in the next video for now my love peace out